Okay, YouTubers, I have been trying to videotape this um, for quite a while. Um, I'm running into issues with uh, my camera not being able to um, download the complete video. And somebody said that it may be that it is my um, uh, memory card that is causing the problem. So I have taken that out, and we're going to try this again and see what happens. Uh, what you are looking at here is uh, the brain to my power system, to my solar system. Uh, the silver thing that you're seeing there go out of the house and down through this box is the vent inside the box, which is a 4 by 8 box. I have 16 um, 6 volt solar batteries in here that have all been tied together. My system is a 48 volt system and so this here is the brain uh, that's the brawn this is the brain this is the inverter that's the inverter this is the charge controller this is what they call the mate or the hub I'm sorry the hub and this is what they call the mate, or one one is one and one is the other. I always get those two confused. Um, so what we're looking at in this situation here is we have been ticky to scare the tar out of me. Um, we have been, um, we're looking at our system here. And on this part right here, these three lights here, it goes green, orange, red, and that's for the battery. And then we have where it goes... Um, green, yellow, red, or green, orange, red, and this is for the status. So if it's on green, that's when the inverter's working. Um, the yellow is when we have AC in, which means the generator is working, and if it's red, that means there's an error, and that generally means that the inverter has kicked us offline, kicked us, kicked the system off to keep us from going too far down. We right now are in the yellow on our battery power, um, which is telling me that we need to be frugal with how we use our power. I have been trying to keep the solar panels uncovered with snow all day long, and uh, we are getting some power in, but as soon as I uncover them, they're getting covered back again with this fine powdery snow. Over here, we are looking at, and we're going to be coming back to this in the future, so let's see this. We have a smidgen right here. A little tiny smidgen of solar power that's coming in, but not enough for it to be able to even tell us that we've even got a percentage of a kilowatt. Uh, so they're still covered with snow. We have, this is this half of the, so this little icon here is the solar part. This little part here with the uh, plus and minus on it, that is telling us with the charge controller, what's happening with the charge controller. So this is telling us, this is the out and this is the in on the charge controller. So this is telling us right now that we've got 0.1 kilowatt of power going out of our system. And this bottom part here tells me uh, when we've got something that's an auxiliary power source, like the generator coming in, what it is doing. At this point right now, we are at 47.3 volts on this and so when we come back we're going to be looking at this right here this is our generator it's going to tell us how much is coming through the generator right now we've got everything going through the battery bank through the controller so it's all going out going out at a 0.1 kilowatt um, basically this is telling us the same thing down on this screen uh, it's telling us how much power we have that is coming in it is telling us how much we have available to go out so we've got 47.5 volts at one amp that we can have go out it's telling us that we have generated 0 0.05 kilowatts and we've had a total of 0.3 kilowatt hours come in and it is trying to bulk it's trying to put power in so at this point <clears throat> I'm just saying that this this we need to do something and what what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go ahead and turn the generator on. Okay friends, we have gone outside to where I have the generators set up and I have two generators. I have a backup plan on for everything. This first generator I'm going to show you is a 9500 watt generator. 
Um, I got this at um, Harbor Freight, through Harbor Freight. And uh, this is what I actually built the house, or had the houses built with. Um, this generator works really well, puts out a lot of power, um, but I don't use it any more often than I have to. And the reason for that is because it uses a lot of gas and it is very noisy. I do keep all my generators. We've had dirt leaking through from overhead because we're under a decking here. So I do keep, as you can see, this is full. I keep, keep try to keep all my generators full. Um, this one here I've been running periodically through the day. And what we're looking at here is, it's a Honda. And it is a EU 3000 IS. It uses less gas. It does put out um, less power, so it's using less gas. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how I start this. Now, what, one way I could start it is it does have the pull. So I could take this and I could pull like you do with a, a uh, lawnmower and pull the cord. But I prefer to start it this way. Okay. This is where the power is going to be going out. And it's going to be going along. And it'll go through this plug which will um, tie it then into my inverter control panel source. So, okay, here's the front of it. <clears throat> and what I do first is like, this is the fuel valve. Now, it does have an echo throttle on it, which means if I were using it for like power tools or um, like I had it in the barn while I was working on something, because this one, I mean, they are movable. So I could take and take it to the barn. Then I would switch this to on, but since, and which would make it to where when I was running tools, it would run harder. Or when I was using it, it would run harder. And when I wasn't using it, it would just sort of idle. So the first thing that I'm going to, and I'm going to keep this off. Because I want this thing to run hard because it's going to be filling up our solar bank. Um, here's the fuel valve. So it's, it's in the off position right here. And so I'm going to... Flip this here, and it's got the little gas tank on it. And I'm going to pull the choke out. And then this key here, turn it to start, and then push the choke in. Okay, and the green light is on. Now, the problem that I do have with this system is that, say, if we were to run, like, turn on the vacuum cleaner, or um, I'm trying to think what other appliances we've had on, it will actually kick it to the overload alarm and nothing will be going into this is the overload alarm and nothing would be going into our system. It actually kicks it off. It like, you know, does like a circuit breaker type of thing. Okay, so we're back inside and what you're looking at now um, is my Outback Power. Uh, it's either the mate or the hub. And right now it's showing that we have an AC input, which is the generator, going into it. We have an auxiliary power source, other than the solar, going in through there. Um, it is showing us that we're up to 50.6 volts. And you can see that the arrows are showing from the generator that we've got 124 volts coming in from the generator that is going in through our charge controller. 2.6 kilowatts going over into our power system here. It's also got a little bit of power trying to come in right here through the solar. And that's showing right here, showing that there's a little bit of power coming in through the solar. But it's still showing 0 0.3 kilowatts is what it's um, trying, to, trying to run through there. <clears throat> okay, on this side here, that, that, now remember that that was a 3,000 watt generator, which means it's a 3.0 kilowatts. And right now it is pulling in 2.6 kilowatts and it's pulling in over 2.2 kilowatts over into the system. And I probably have explained this um, in a crazy way, which may be hard for you to understand. And for that, please forgive me because um, this, this is a learning curve for me also. <clears throat> Down here, it is showing again that we're at 52 volts and 1 amps. 
52.1 volts at 1 amp. We are a 48 volt system. What my system will do will be it will go to 56, 57, somewhere in through there, volts. And then it'll bulk up through that time and then it will float back down to 51. So it's bulking up now. As soon as I turn this off, since I turn the generator off, this is this number is going to go down. And it goes down pretty quickly. Um, because we just got a trickle charge going into the battery bank. Okay, so this is what I have to do when we have a uh, low light or there's something going on with the solar panels where they're not able to put out the energy that we need. Um, I have to get up and turn on the generator and let it run for an hour or two and build our battery bank back up again. So I'm going to go and I'm going to brush some more snow off the solar panels and see if we can't get a little more power in from the solar panels. It is starting to get um, a little bit darker outside so I don't know how much longer we even have that availability. Um, there's always something going on with us and this is with this snow has totally put us on hold for all of our other projects. As always, I want to say thank you very much for watching the channel. God bless America and pray for our country.